Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial here with Trigger Mike. Today I'm going to be showing you a double booster that I've come up with in the past few days. So what I'm doing right here is laying down the main track. So this is the one that the cart that is getting boosted is going to travel along. And now notice on the ends here that I'm leaving a one block space. This has to do with the design of the boosting carts between these tracks and it just lets them uh, lay the track properly or else if I didn't leave that space I get in trouble so we're just gonna fast forward through a bit of the building here because I built it very long it's got like eight tracks across so and another thing with this is whatever side the cart starts boosting on it has to exit going away from that side so this exits going back towards the side I started on and for this design to work it has to be that way now we're gonna start with our booster carts now the booster cart on each side of the each far side of the track has to be auto resetting on its own or else uh, the cart won't reset itself. Every other cart here, you'll see just is going to get a straight track. This is because every other cart gets hit twice when, uh, when a cart goes for a boosting run, and every cart will get reset back to where it started. And putting those auto-resetting auto boosters just ensures that. So as you can see, I'm making this one straight, and we're going to make all the other ones straight, so I'm just going to fast forward again through building these. So you can see there's nothing to it. If you build it in this order, you won't have any problems with the tracks curving back on you or causing you trouble when you're trying to lay them down. So doing it this way, you'll get nice, even tracks that work for you. And you can set up all your boosters properly with no trouble, really. So now I'm going to show you where you have to lay these booster carts out. So this is a auto resetting booster so it obviously goes on this side. And then after that you have to alternate them one empty one there all along each end. And once I push a cart through this you'll see exactly why it has to be that way but it it's what the whole design works around. Alright, now that I have all the carts in place, we're just going to, going to uh, fade to a bit of a test run here. So we're going to do an empty cart first, because I find that empty carts are very susceptible to altitude changes and all sorts of things that slow carts down. So now you're good to go as soon as that cart resets, and you'll see that every time each cart resets back to where I need it to be, and then continues on. So, this is as compact as you can really make a powerful booster like this, and the results are, are pretty good for it. Um, one of this size will take a lot of iron on a legit account. Obviously, I've hacked all this mine tracks and mine carts in, but going down the same track that we went through in the last video, really, you can see how far an empty cart's going this time. And sadly, building these tracks took me more than a Minecraft day. Well, building the track section for the booster, at least. And uh, I'm going to have to cut the video short here, just because it gets too dark to see anything, really. But this empty cart made it a lot farther than any of my old empty carts. It boosted probably somewhere over 1,200 uh, blocks, so that's pretty far for a single boost on an empty cart especially over that kind of track so yeah that's it for my tutorial here rate comment subscribe let me know what you think guys